danger. Um, I am so sorry. Um, I should have been recording earlier at the bag sale. I'm sweating. I am exhausted. I just wanted to give you guys a quick, quick preview of everything that came in. Look at this. This whole bag full of stuff right there. I have going in the bedroom right now. This bag down here, that bag down there, that bag down here, this bag right here, all that stuff folded there, those Jordans, those picture frames, these little bags, no, I already had them. All this stuff just came from the bag sale. Check this out. Look at this beautiful jewelry box. Look at that. All felt lined drawers. Open that up. Look, look in there. Wow. All this just came from the bag sale. I spent $20. No lie, I probably got, I want to say like four grand worth of stuff that I'm going to sell. You'll see. Later on, I'm going to unpack. I'm going to show everyone exactly what I got. Just want to do a quick preview. I got probably $500 worth of Dickies scrubs, uh, women's scrubs, all kind of stuff. So much cool stuff. Um, pictures, picture frames. Um all kind of little ornamental things i got this little thing right here that i'm gonna keep because i know my wife will like it look at that with the little bird on top very cute very cool i already put it up i know she's gonna love that thing right there there's my cat anyway guys um later on i'm gonna splice in the rest of the video showing everyone exactly what i bought how crazy it was um i met another reseller lady there who lives right around the corner. She told me that my Goodwill right here does 50% um, off every other Saturday. I didn't even know that. So I got another little useful tip. Anyway, uh, thanks guys. Check me out later. I'm going to splice the video in with everything that came out of that bag sale. Thanks guys. Talk to you in a little while. This is Dave Danger. Thanks for joining me on YouTube. Hey YouTubers, this is Dave Danger. I'm back with the uh, second part of the video here. So um, today I'm just going to show everybody all the stuff that we got from the bag sale. Um, me and my wife, Nicole, went today the second day. Yesterday was the first day uh, when I showed you guys all those bags in the bedroom and the stuff I got. And uh, today I'm just going to go and show you some of the stuff. Um, again, so this was the thrift store. Whoop, that was the steamer. <laughs> so this was the thrift store down the street from me in Ocean City, Maryland. Had a sale today that was five dollars for a trash bag so and it wasn't like a little bag either it's a trash bag like this a trash bag so um that was an incredible deal i got tons of stuff i got i don't even know how many over hundreds of items to list uh pretty good quality stuff i'm always amazed at the stuff i find at this store i guess it's where i live um you know how like when you go to Goodwill or those type of stores, thrift stores, donation stores, the better, more affluent area you go to, the nicer stuff you come away with. So we get some pretty good stuff down here. Um, today when I went in today, this is the first thing this caught my eye from across the room. Check this out. This is a, oh, let me get it open. This is old. <laughs> this is 70s. This is a Polaroid. The English version uh, land camera. Check that out. Very cool. Uh, Polaroid square shooter land camera in excellent condition. Very, very cool. It has the original box that came with it and even the original instructions. This is a price tag from, I mean, not a price tag rather, but a receipt. From 3-17-1973 from Luskins. That's crazy. Luskins was a store that was around in Maryland, in Baltimore, that sold like big TVs and appliances and electronics and stuff like that. I don't think they're around anymore. Um, they used to sit on top of what was actually called Luskins Hill, right off of the uh, 695 Beltway in Baltimore. Maryland, if anybody knows where that is. But anyway, so this was the Polaroid lamp camera. Very cool. Um, this was just one of the things in the bag. This will probably go for, uh, I would guess, between $75 and $100, maybe more. I'm not totally sure. 
I got so much stuff here. I'm just going to go through and show you some things. I'm going to start with some of the uh, hard goods items, and then I'll move into some of the clothes. Um, let me see here. I'm going to open this bag up and show you some. Actually, no. Let me show you these first. So we got these. These have the uh, stickers from Big Lots still on them. $15 each. These are like a thick wood. Pretty cool. Um, kitchen stuff. Those will go. Um, I would guess they'll sell for, you know, $10 to $15 a piece. Um, let's see. We got this. This is a purse and a couple things inside of a purse. I forget what that is. But let me see. Hold on. Wrap those in a minute and look. Um, but, all right. The large bag here. This is kind of made of like a wicker type, almost like a paper material, kind of like what like a paper cowboy hat is made out of, something like that. That's another purse inside a purse. Um, but this is Shirelia. This is a Chicago-based purse company. I looked up the comps on this. Um, a purse like this, brand new, is selling for about $65 to $70. This purse, I'm guessing, will get about 25 to 30 bucks. It's pretty cool. Pretty big. Uh, nice leather straps. Very nice. Okay, there's that. Shirelia. So that's probably about 30 bucks there. Let's see what else we got here. Little butterfly thing. That's for my wife. Butterfly thing. All right, this is a little, uh, it's called Link Idea. It's like a little, just a little case, CD case. I get about 10 bucks for that. Just another another bag item. Um, this is kind of funny. This is a hat from Shenanigans, which is actually my job where I cooked. Where I still cook, but this was my full-time job. Um, but I'm doing the thrifting thing. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, picked up a roll of duct tape. Always useful. Uh, another roll of shipping tape. Again, very always useful. We got some pink duct tape also. Let's see here. All right, so let's show these now. We got, um, damn, that lid keeps falling. These are some Coca-Cola cups. You can never go wrong with Coca-Cola. I, I wish I had one more of these. Um, these are original cups. Dishwasher top rack. They're from 1992. Pretty cool. These will definitely sell for... Uh, who knows, maybe like 10 or $12 for that set. Maybe $15 if I'm lucky. Let's see what else we got here. Button this back up. Um, this is a little purse. This is from a local Baltimore company. It's kind of neat. It has like a wood opening right there. It's called the Beehive. It's a little Baltimore store. This is something that's kind of handmade. It's pretty neat. I'll probably sell that for $20, $25. Again, that's one of the bag items. So $5 for this whole entire bag. Okay, this is a creamer pitcher. This will probably sell for $10. Um, this is from, what does this say? Grace Teaware. This is from Grace Teaware. It actually has a Marshall sticker. You can kind of see some of that on the bottom there, Marshalls. Um, this went for $12.99 at Marshalls, and that was in the bag there. Let's see what else. I think this is the other creamer picture that I have here. Yep, this is the little one, also from the Grace Tea Wear. Another little creamer type. Well, it says cream right on it. Cream and creamer. Um, Alright, what else do we got here? That's clothes. This is just a little random thing. 10 golf balls. They had a $2 price tag on it. They'll probably sell for $6.99, $7.99. Again, just one of the bag items. So you can't go wrong with that. I mean, when you're stuffing a trash bag full of items, you can't really, you can do no wrong. Here's some more Disney. Um, this is from the 2000, year 2000, the Hollywood and Vine Disney Collector's Cup. Anything Disney goes great. This was a McDonald's Disney Collector Cup from the year 2000. I'm guessing that'll go for between $10 and $15. This is kind of goofy. Uh, they laughed at me when I brought this home today. But this is a Care X 
raised toilet seats. But this is brand new in the box. Um, appears to be never been used, I hope, because that's gross. Um, but uh, the comps on that are going for like 30 bucks, so that should be that should be a pretty easy thing there. Um, I have here some Canon photo paper, glossy photo print paper. Now this is open, but it doesn't appear to ever be used. Only the outside of the box is open. So actually, let's take a look at this and see a little closer. Looks like there's some other stuff in here as well. Let me see what's in here actually, guys. Some other types of paper. Some other things. All right, so there's some other things in here that are not useful. That's nothing. All right, so this is a little bit of glossy photo print paper here. This will probably just end up being personal use. That's okay though, because it was just another bag item. So you can't really go wrong. I'm not losing money on any of this by far. Selling one item will take care of every single thing we got here. Let's see what else we got in the bag. Yesterday I got a ton of these. This is just one of the last pairs. Um, these are Capizio Teletone Children's um, Tap Shoes. Believe it or not, I haven't sold a pair of these for less than $20, $25. These are little kids, but um, they're in good condition. You can see the taps are barely even used. <laughs> kind of cool. Anyway, I'm guessing those will go $15, 20 bucks. I actually got 10 pairs of those today. All right, here is a pair of women's boots. These are bass, like GH Bass, the men's clothing. Um, but they are pretty nice, like full uh, Sherpa, size six. They're called Bass Pinnacles. They're pretty cool, suede boots, um, you know, semi waterproof, water resistant, very nice. Um, I'm guessing that we'll get $20, $30 for those guys. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we got a brand new box of As Seen on TV, Mighty Putty. Probably going to end up keeping this for myself. But um, this is one of those things that sells on TV for like 20 bucks. It has the, uh, the late, great Billy Mays up there in the top. Um, originally, they were selling this for a dollar. I just uh, threw it on in my trash bag. Um, I could probably sell this for 20 bucks, you know, between 15 and 20 dollars, but um, I might just keep that because I have things around the house that could go with that. All right, this is a Healy and Weber, a, uh, a Titan wrist, black wrist brace. Looks like this has a little bit of uh, dog hair and stuff on it. I looked at it, but not that closely. But um, orthopedic, I think, is the right word for that. Orthopedic wrist brace. But um, yeah. So this will be for somebody that has carpal tunnel syndrome or something like that, and um, help them get their stuff together. But anyway, there's that. Um, part of the bag thing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is a prescription item, actually, maybe. But wow, well, it could be prescribed. But still in the box. I'm gonna clean it up. But it's a Healy Weber Orthopedic Sports Medicine. I'm guessing $20 for that guy also. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this was a good buy. I remember this. These are American Eagles. Very nice. Women's uh, slip-on. A little bit of a raised heel in the back there. These will still go for the spring. They're open-toed. Very cute. Okay. I'm guessing we'll get 20 bucks. There's a lot of $20 items. I mean, none of these are really expensive items, but it's the uh, listing them in bulk. You know, all it's the, the volume that's going to bring money for these. This is a pair of jockey pants. These are going to be for me. <laughs> My bedtime pants. Let's see what else we got here. We got another pair of suede women's boots. These are... Are these the Nine West ones, or... I can't remember which 
one of these are. Can't see. Are these baths also? Oh, these are Dr. Scholl's. I'm sorry. These are the Dr. Scholl's suede boots. I'm guessing these will go for about 20 bucks as well. We're gonna list them maybe 25. I'll probably end up taking 20. Maybe list for 30. Try to get 25. These are boys. We're getting some of the clothes now. These are Wilson pants. I'm gonna start going through these a little quicker, but just to show you guys all the stuff. It's just ridiculous how much stuff we got. This is one of the first items that I put in there today. I can't remember whether these were my wife gave these for me or not, but these are a nice pair of Dockers slip resistant shoes. These could be a nice pair of work shoes. Um, these are probably 45, 50 dollars shoes, brand new. Um, they are a size 11. They're very nice, actually. Really nice shoes. Okay. Um, we got also here. This is the last item in this bag. Thank you guys for helping me uh, unpack everything here today. All right, and this is a set of Harman Kardon computer speakers. If you ever come across computer speakers in the store, guys, like vintage computer speakers like this, they go. Uh, I know it seems silly, but people want these. These are in demand. They will sell, especially nice ones from a brand like Harman Kardon. Um, they will go. They will sell. If you're not familiar with that, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's how I say it. Harman Kardon. Kardon. Very nice computer speakers. I'm guessing I'll get 30 bucks for them, believe it or not. That's a $30 set of speakers. All right. Let's see what else we got back here. Came today. This is Guitar Hero. Now, it doesn't have the game, but this is the, uh, right there. A couple of stickers. We'll get them off, but everything's working. It's in very good condition. The box is in excellent condition. So this is the Gibson SG Guitar Hero for PlayStation 2. I'm guessing I'll get between $20 and $30 for that, maybe a little more. Um, certain models of those guitars go quicker than others. That's a pretty good one, um, but they all go. So if you see them, get it. They all go. You can sell them on Amazon or eBay. You can shrink wrap them, send them off to Amazon for FBA if you want to do that. Um, if not, they ship just fine on eBay. Just make sure that your customer pays for the shipping on those because you will pay like $10, $15 shipping for those bad boys. But um, they're definitely a good sell. They are a, always something that always sells. Let's see what else we got. Oh, okay. This is the bag of tap shoes I was telling you guys about. It's about 10 pairs in there. We got little brown, um, what do they call Mary Janes. Whoa. We got little brown Mary Janes. I got larger black ones like this. The taps are all in very good condition. This is Block. The Block Shockwave number three. I've got a bunch of those Capizio Teletones. These are ABTs. I'm not familiar with that brand, but anything like this sells. Anything that you see that is specialized like this that you can get, pick it up because it will sell. Things that are specialized always sell. There's somebody always looking for certain little items like that. So pick it up, guys, if you see them. What else do we got here? This is a little Reese's Hershey's Kids Cap. That's along the same lines as the Disney stuff. It sells. It goes. Believe me. This is a Dutour fitted cap. Ten, fifteen dollars all day for those types of items. We got two of these here. Spalding Top Flight X outs. Uh, a dozen golf balls in each one. Neon yellow, neon orange. I saw these going on the comps for as much as $30 a box. Uh, I'll probably list them somewhere between $20 and $30 and end up taking $20. But once again, bag sale. You can't beat it. I'll throw them in the bag with a million other things. We got a purse here. What's the name of this brand again? Relic. Bamboo handles. Shaped wax bamboo handles. I think they're waxed or some kind of cool finish that makes them hard like that. But it's a pretty neat little purse. Okay. Canvas, palm trees. Very nice spring, summer type item. 
We'll get thirty dollars for that probably. Hopefully. This is a pair of Arizona, like the Arizona Jean Company. These are Arizona heeled boots, women's boots, like South, I mean like Western style boots. Very cool. Probably get thirty bucks for them as well. Oh, these are good items here. Now this you might laugh, but this is a this is like a boot. A um, it's a padded. It's heavily padded. It's got a pretty kind of design, a pink and white floral design on it. It's a really really soft felt with these Velcro. This is an ankle brace. Um, this is gonna probably sell for fifty bucks. I bet this will go fast. Again, specialized items like that. It's something where someone's going to go on eBay and be looking for a certain particular item. They're going to be looking just for that item. And if you happen to have exactly what it is, um, then it sells. That's why it's good to have a wide range of specialized things. You know, golf balls, orthopedic ankle braces, orthopedic shoe braces. Um, you know, certain things like that are are just certain particular items that people will definitely want and if you have them then you got a quick easy solid sale every time I'm trying to get my wife to keep these boots but these are J Crew made in Italy very nice kind of like reminiscent of the Doc Martin combat boot type style but a little classier these are very nice solid boots they feel great they're heavy this is another brand that I'm not sure about but it's another one of those that just feel really good when you hold them, they're heavy, they're well made. They kind of look like dance goes a little bit, like professional work clogs. Um, but they're all leather uppers, they're very nice. This is supposed to be like a wood, but it's not, it's like a hard plastic. But they're non-slip, they're called Born Concept. Those are very cool boots. I'm guessing I'll get 40 bucks for them. The bottom has like a pretty cool pattern right there to it. Okay, next, this is a, it almost looks like it could be a men's belt, except when you look here at the front, um, when this is like a rounded buckle like that, which is the only thing that really makes this a woman's belt. But this is Banana Republic. Small Banana Republic belt. In the store, this would probably be $65. If you were in a Banana Republic mall store or something like that, um, this would probably be a between 50 and 65 dollar belt really nice about three inches wide very good solid belt women's belt I'm guessing we'll get 30 bucks for that I sold a few um what's the brand Dickies belts last week for 25 dollars a piece and Banana Republic is a lot better than Dickies so all right let's see we got three of these guys here I've been actually looking at these at the thrift store for a couple weeks uh, there's nothing special about them, but picture frames always sell. We got three of these, exactly the same. They're 10 by 20, three 5 by 7 openings. They're very nice. They're brand new, black wood. Something like this at Walmart would probably cost you 20 bucks each. I'm hoping to get 20 bucks each for them, maybe a little more, but they're brand new, so you can't go wrong with that. They might even be able to be sent off to Amazon. We'll see. But they'll go on eBay today. Um, all right, before I get into all those clothes, I'm going to show you this Gap jacket. This is like a canvas barn coat, uh, zippered pockets, like a green light olive um, with the tan. Very nice, size large. I'm guessing we'll get 30 bucks for this. This will still sell as like a spring item, um, but it could be a little heavier also as a winter coat. All right, I'm going to do a few of these, and then we're going to wrap it up for today. This again, just to show you kind of like what I'm getting, the kind of items. Canyon Ridge, men's. This is a Chaps. This is nice. This one will be a little nicer because of the different type of buttons on there. That makes it a little bit more desirable, desirable rather, with the button pockets. Stuff like those that make sure it stand out when they have like a logo spell out or the button pockets or the different types of buttons those are the things that people look for banana republic again nice this is more chaps pink and gray tommy hill figure very nice anything tommy hill figure i always get it 
This is another brand sometimes. It's called Descendant of Thieves. Um, if you see that brand, pick it up. I think it's a good brand. Kind of like an English style. Here's another Chaps, Ralph Lauren Chaps. This is J. Crew. Has somebody's uh, dry cleaning <laughs> sticker on there. It's funny. So there's a green J. Green. Um, I can't remember what that pattern is. Check, kind of. That's a J. Crew. This is Bass. Just like those shoes, G. H. Bass. That's another solid company. Here's an XL Nautica. This might fit me. This might be a keeper for me. Um, what else here? I'm not going to unfold all these, but this is a Wrangler. This was a good little find. Um, brand new with tags on it. This is nice. This might fit me too. Wrangler jeans. It's a good solid brand. Up here we got, um, oh, I do want to show you this one because it's something a little different. This is called Modern Amusement. I like this brand. They make good stuff. They make cool stuff. Kind of trendy. Just a little bit different off the beaten path. Um, so pick them up if you see it. They sell. We got a couple pairs of American Eagle, a bunch of Izod, um, a bunch of Dockers, Izod sweaters, Gap sweaters. That's an Izod turtleneck. There's two Nauticas. There's another Gap. That's a J. Crew. The brown one is a Wrangler. Just tons of stuff, guys. I got two, four, six, eight, nine packs of Canon glossy photo paper. It's it just so much stuff. All right, but anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much going to wrap it up, and I'm going to stop and get to listing. Oh, one more thing. Check this out. SpongeBob's house. <laughs> 20 bucks there, I bet. It's cool if my uh, niece and nephew don't steal it from me first. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. This is Dave Danger uh, from my YouTube channel, uh, Dave Danger the Reseller. Please check out my eBay store, Discount Designer Outlet LLC, under that eBay store name, Discount Designer Outlet LLC, or the eBay account name at nicknack028120-2. And uh, please subscribe down below or comment. Um, I'd be happy to chat with anybody. Um, thanks for checking me out, guys. See you next time. Thank you.